asked in their own words, from Ray Kurzweil to you name it, say that they believe they're merging with machines to create the new Superman, the Uber mention. And of course, every time we start hearing about Superman and Uber mention, every time we start seeing that and hearing that, look out, governments start massacring people because you're profane, ugly, stunted, animals anyway for neo human where ai cybernetics nanotech and other emerging technologies replace mankind and openly transhumanist visions now being steered by the elite but which emerge out of a darwinistic circles directed by the likes of th huxley and his grandchildren julian who coined the term transhuman they frame the whole thing as if it's a foregone conclusion, they're offering you this heaven-like Valhalla that is a foregone conclusion that your brain will be transplanted in a machine and copies of it will be distributed out and death will be conquered and all of this is going to be wonderful, led by Ray Kurzweil who says he's going to reanimate his father with the technology because he has a bunch of his father's belongings. Ain't going to happen, pal. Uh, and that he's going to live forever and eat something like 200 pills a day vitamins that's very similar to the longevity program but you're not gonna live forever on that pal uh but the point is is that kurzweil and he's got all these elitists and hollywood stars bought into it on his program william shatner the list goes on and on and they go to this conference and it's all global government except nanotech except wirehead except interfaces everything's fine they don't tell you this is all department of defense 1950s 60s 70s 80s darpa they don't know it's 1855 sir francis galton envisioning biometric computer systems overlays i mean like he was you know almost like he was uh channeling you know an off-world engineer from prometheus i mean these people they are smart. Come up with all this, the entire science, first computers, Hollerith machines, race mixing study, integrated systems, all of our modern technologies created by eugenicists or farmed out by scientists owned by eugenicist robber barons. The entire society, the whole technotronic plan, robotics, future not needing us, phasing out humanity. All of this, a hellish future, while they've been poisoning us and dumbing us down so we can't resist their takeover, and then saying we deserve it because all we want to do is watch Dancing with the Stars and Tebow and all the rest of it. Because they call it that. They want a transhumanist new dark age for the rest of us, turning off our resources in a post-industrial world. While in high-tech reservations, the new class system, they have the advanced tech. Which people beg for like a slave-med iPad, like a slave-created iPad made at slave factories with suicide nets, then they give it to the so-called upper class, and that itself is a weaponized yeah. system. They have uh, brain augmentation enforcement. People are going to be getting arrested for augmentation that's illegal. And you'll be happy to not have kids ever again if you're given a nice apartment, left alone, and are allowed to hook into a system that gives you unlimited pleasure. You're not going to want to even go on and live. And they have forecast all of this. And so all the tech they're selling us has back doors and spying systems built into it. And all the tech that Kurzweil and others are going to turn loose, NASA, Google, Microsoft funding all of this on you, is going to be almost impossible to turn down. And this is just one level of the technology while they get the real stuff. And they write about that like you're an idiot. Here is the new trailer for the new Kurzweil movie. Remember, this is coming out in August. And I got laughed at for saying, once they have their world government, they believe they'll be able to live forever. That's all from Google, from Schmidt, and Gates, and, 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 and Turner, and all of them. That, Prince Philip, Pr Prince Charles, it's all, it's all they do, 24-7. They don't take vaccines. They don't eat GMO food. They have their own farms. They admit it. They have emergency underground seed vaults for after they've wrecked everything to redesign it. These people are crazy. The point is, I'm not the crazy one reporting this to you.